Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in Windows application how to copy or transfer selected checkbox value from a data grid view control into the another data grid view control. And here we got the final output. I am selecting Sam, Mark and Ben. I have selected three records. Copy. So here we got the output in the data grid view control. The selected checkbox rows I have transferred into the data grid view 2. If I unselect, copy, see it's gone. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I am creating a new windows application. Go to file, new project. And from the templates I'm selecting with the Windows, I think the Windows Forms application and the .NET framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is copy drop down list values another drop down list. Okay. And here the Windows application is successfully created. Let me expand this form on design page. Now in this form on design page, I'm adding three controls, two data grid view controls and one button control. Go to toolbox. In the data folder, there is a data grid view control. Click that one. This is the first data grid view control open toolbox the second one data grid view control now the third control I'm adding a button control open toolbox in the common controls there is a button control I'm adding that one F4 I'm changing the text value to that's it we have done the designing part now select the data grid view control notice there is a small button at the top which is a data grid view task click that one choose data source add project data source database next data set next new connection I'm adding my SQL server name user after adding the server name I'm selecting the database name sample DB test connection is succeeded okay okay click next and sample db connection string is my connection string and I want to save this connection string in the app.config file click next and here we got the selected sample db database objects I'm expanding the tables from the tables I'm selecting the employee finish And here the employee table is binded to this data grid view one control. Now let's check the output the employee table is binded or not into this data grid view control. Start. And here we got the output the employee table is binded into this data grid view control. Now my next task is I will add one checkbox control into this data grid view control click button controls the selected checkbox values I want to transfer those rows into this data grid view control 2 so let's start the coding part let's close this output window double click the form 1 design page now the form load event now I'm adding a checkbox control into the data grid view control data grid view
checkbox column checkbox is equals to new data grid with checkbox column checkbox dot header text the property select checkbox dot the size is that 25 the next property I'm adding checkbox dot name is equals to data grid view checkbox I'm adding a background color to the checkbox columns checkbox dot default cell style dot back color is equals to color dot red after adding the color to the checkbox column data grid view one dot columns dot insert method and this insert method takes two parameters the first one is a column index so I want to add the checkbox column the first position in the data grid view control so it's zero the column starts with zero comma and the second parameter is the data grid view column object so I'm adding chk box copy this one and paste here that's it we have added the checkbox control dynamically after that we have binded the checkbox control into the data grid view one let's check the output start see here we got the output the new column checkbox control is added now my aim is the selected checkbox control when I click button control copy those selected rows I want to transfer into this data grid view control let's finish the rest of the code let's close the window stop debugging switch to the design mode double click the button control it will generate the button click event now in this button click event the first thing I'm adding a data table data table dt is equals to new data table dt dot columns dot add the first column is name email and salary I want to copy name email and the last one is a salary now here I'm writing the coding part the selected checkbox values from the data grid view 1 to transfer and bind into the data grid view control 2 for that I'm using for each loop I'm adding data grid view row I'm creating an object DRV data grid view row in data grid view one dot rows property. Now in this for each loop, only the selected checkbox control I want to transfer. Boolean checkbox select is equals to DRV dot cells between double quotes I'm adding this checkbox name dot value property and notice we got an error cannot implicitly convert type object to boolean so we need to type as this one convert dot to boolean now if condition if checkbox select but now in this if condition I'm adding the selected checkbox values the rows from data grid view 1 into this data table dt dot rows dot add method drv which is the object of the data grid view row dot cells 
Now here the cells takes the integer value index. The index is 2. The first one is the ID. So I'm not adding that one dot value comma DRV dot cells. The index value is 3 which is the email dot value comma DRV dot cells. The last cells is a 4 dot value. Now I'm adding the selected checkbox rows. The background and four color change. DRV dot default cell style dot back color is equals to color dot gray. The background color is gray and DRV dot default cell style dot four color is equals to color dot aqua after the if condition now i'm binding the data table object into the data grid view 2 control data grid view grid view 2 dot data source is equals to dt this object that's it we have done the complete coding part. Let's check the results. Start. And here we got the final output. I'm selecting Sam, Mark, and Ben. I selected three records. Copy. So here we got the output in the data grid view control. The selected checkbox rows I have transferred into the data grid view 2. If I unselect, copy, see, it's gone. That's it.